Hi everyone and welcome to another of my videos. Well, I do look like a mess, but it's because I am in a hurry, but I want to try some product that my friend Valerie sent to me in our box swap. I will link that video up here or down below so you can watch everything that I've got in that box because I'm not going to be able to use everything. But I'm here today and the first thing I'm going to try is actually the Tatcha moisturizer. I haven't tried anything from Tatcha. It's almost impossible to get here in Sweden. And yeah, I'm excited to try this product. So let's start. Packaging is beautiful. You've probably seen it. I mean, it's nothing new to you guys, but it's definitely new to me. Oh, it smells really good. It's a moisturizing cream. I didn't have, I don't have any cream. I just washed my face. So this will be my first experience. It smells really nice. It feels light and moisturizing, which is really good. Okay, so until this sinks in, we are going to go in and use the eyeshadow primer that I got. This is the eyeshadow primer from Smashbox, uh, Intensify. And I love trying new primers, eyeshadow primers. I don't think I've used this one. Uh, I'm not really sure. So it has a weird consistency. It's really thick. Can't get out any product though. Yeah, it's very thick. It actually reminds me of the um, Wet n Wild one, but the Wet one one is more liquidy. I do like to set my eyeshadow primers just because I have hooded eyes and very oily eyelids. So everything creases doesn't matter what kind of primer I have. If I don't set it with some powder, it will crease. So I'll use some Huda Beauty powder just to set that. And I use that powder just because I have it here. And I didn't open the one that I'm going to use today. But I will use it for my face, but not for the eyes. Okay, I did get this beautiful two palettes. Uh, Anastasia's palette and I got this Milani. But I really, really want to try this Milani palette today. Uh, it has these beautiful colors that I really, really want to try out. We'll make just an easy makeup look using these shades. And I'm going to go in with Platform, this light brown color. It has a lot of... It's a little bit powdery, but I'm going to use my mirror just to see what I'm doing. I haven't tried a lot of Milani eyeshadows. But I've heard good things about the palettes. <laughs> but I don't know why I never got the chance to try them out. I never bought them. Oh, this is nice. It's blending fast. It's easy to apply even if I have powder under it. And it's a really nice trans transition shade. We are going to go in another with another brush. And now I'm going to use Sigma brush. This is the E49. And I'm going to go into... I want to go into this invisible... Invite only. This dark brown color. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat is a little bit sore. It's very powdery. But never bothered me at all. Sorry if I cover everything with my mirror. So Valerie is my best friend, but she lives in US and we've been friends for years and sending to each other these boxes, mystery boxes, with some product that we want. We know that um, we have on our wish list, but also some product that we want to surprise each other with to try out. I really enjoy a plenty of product that she sent to me. Now, I don't know when we are going to send each other another box because the shipping, it's been a little bit more pricey than it was before. And also products are pricier. So we'll see when we are going to be able to send each other another box. Maybe not in the nearest future. Usually send to each other two times a year and now it was once a year because everything is so much expensive and we have plenty of makeup. I have plenty of makeup, so, and I still love makeup, trying new makeup. So it's not 
just because of that, but it's a money issue, you know, economy. It's not what it was a couple of years ago. I'm going to use another, like, more, more tapped brush. And this is going to be Sigma E27. We're going to in with that dark brown again in white only and just dark up the edges a little bit. I mean, everything is blending really nice. This one is a little bit more cool tone that it appears in the pan, but still works. So now when I have my my base on. I'm going to go in with a product that I didn't get from Valerie, but I don't know how I <laughs> lived without it. I did send this to Valerie. I have a, also a backup in my drawer behind me, but this is the Pat McGrath Intensify, Intens Intensify Eyes Artistically Hand, or Artist, what it's called, the count with Artisty Wand. It's like a eyeshadow primer for the shimmery eyeshadows and it really makes the eyeshadows pop and also makes the eyeshadows uh, stay on for longer and you do you use it like this when you done your base you just go over not too much just a little bit over the eyelid where you want the shimmers to go that's it and i'll go with my fingers actually i'm going to apply stellar this blue shade here and I do want to go in with micro ball also it's a beautiful color you see it's really nice and especially the base makes it be more vibrant and also stay on better. There is a little bit of a, a lot of fallout, but we'll fix that later. Now I am going to go in with a primer that I got. I got two primers, but today I'm going to go and use a one size beauty primer that it secured the blur. And this is the makeup magnet primer. I can't get the one size beauty here to Sweden. I'm very happy that Valerie sent this to me to try it out. Doesn't have a special scent, but it's... We'll see. Looks nice. Oh, it looks nice. It looks like a any primer. Oh, it feels moisturizing. Cooling. Dries down very fast, though. Pore minimizing, I'm not really sure. I still can see my pores, but it looks a little bit more matte. Wow, I'm excited. I did get the House of Labs, a uh, House of Labs foundation, but I'm not going to open that shade because I already have two of um, those foundations and that was on my wish list. I'm happy that I got it because this foundation is really good, but I didn't want to waste, waste it or use it up something. So I'm going to mix these two shades. I think I have 110 light neutral and 175 light mid, light neutral. Both of them are light neutral, but 110 and 175. So I'm going to mix it here on my hand, two pumps of that. Two pumps of that. It is a little bit, uh, it's a liquidy foundation, but I really like it because it stays on the face for very, very long time. I'm going to in with a sponge too on the back of my hand and then spread the foundation. I did definitely use a little bit too much foundation, but I I love full coverage. And this is a buildable foundation, so it's a beautiful foundation. It goes on smoothly. I know I like it. The primer 
well, I don't know if it's pore minimizing, but because I can still see my pores and I have really big pores. <laughs> Uh, but it is a really, it looks to be a really good primer so far. I mean, the foundation goes on uh, top of it very nicely. It I can't feel the primer on my skin. So I didn't get any concealer, so I'm going to go in with the, my concealer that I have from Charlotte Tilbury, Tilbury. This is Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. And I think I have it in shade 4 Fair. And this concealer works really nice with this foundation. I'm loving the foundation on top of this primer a lot, I have to say. My skin looks more even. I still can see my pores, but my complexion looks more even or smoother. And the foundation went on really blend really nice on top with this one. We're going to set everything. And we are going to set with one size beauty that I got from Valerie, Ultimate Setting Powder. This was on my wish list for years. I really, really wanted to try this powder. And I have it in translucent. Let's see, smooth everything out. Let's see how this is. There is a, like a hole in the center here. Let's see. Moment of truth. Oh, wow. Look at that. Pores where. Oh, wow. This is a really good powder. It is looking a little bit dry under my eyes, but it is because all of the powders make my eyes, under eyes, look dry because I have very dry under eyes. But I am really loving this powder. And my favorite part so far was the Is Hooded Beauty. It's because it has a similar effect. It kind of smooths everything out. But I feel like this one is even more smooth, soothing, smoothing. Or I say it right, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and just use the powder all over my face. Going to go back to this palette, and I'm going to use uh, the going to use the same Sigma 27, and just go into this brown shade and build it up under the lower lash line. And we do have the dark brown still on the brush, so it's blended together with that light shade. I'm going to fill in my eyebrows, but I'm going to go in and use this palette that I have from the uh, Danessa Marix. I'm going to go in with this shade sculpted here. I didn't get any eyebrow product, so I'm going to go in and use what I have. I'll be using this for my eyebrows and bronzer and contour for a couple of days now, or since I got it actually could be maybe, no, two weeks, three, two or three weeks since it launched. Well, I'm loving the product so far that I got from Valerie. I'm going to be going with some bronzer. I'm going to go in with Fenty Beauty that I got from Valerie last time. I got a couple of shades. To be honest, I did get, I gave one shade to my sister, but the rest I do have. And for the blush, I'm going to go with another that I got from Valerie ages ago. This is the Bare Minerals Gen, uh, Gen Nude and it's shade that peach though. And I did get that this one for a couple of years ago from Valerie. Love it. Oh, I love how my makeup looks. The face looks snatched and smooth. I think it's the combination with the, the primer, powder, and the foundation. Okay, I'm going to set everything with the setting spray that I got from Valerie. One size beauty until dawn, mattifying waterproof setting spray. So excited to try it. Ooh.
oh god the scent the scent is strong but it went when went on like air but it is uh, the scent was very very strong but it went on beautifully like air so that's interesting I'm going to curl my lashes and I'm going to in with mascara that I got from Valerie. I got two mascaras, but I'm going to use one of those today. The mascara that I got is the Level Up from Uma. 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 Uh, what is it called? Uma. Beauty. It separated every single lash. I like how it goes on. We'll see how it will stay on my eyes. Hope it won't smudge. I'm very picky when it comes to mascaras, but this one looks really, really nice. We'll see how it's going to stay on. I will definitely come back here and uh, try the other product that I got from Valerie. It made my lashes very long and fluffy and separated. So I'm loving how it looks. I really, really hope it won't smudge. Now, I didn't get any lip liner, so we're not going to apply any. But I did get two different products for the lips. A couple of shades. I did get the Uma Beauties. All, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And this is the It's Complicated Lip Tint Oil and Gloss. And I'm going to go in with this shade... Oh god, I can't read my ping, 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 I think it's called. It's very beautiful color. It went on really, really nicely on the lips, but I do want to go in and try this on top. I don't know if it will be a mistake, but I do want to try this one too. This is the Floss Gloss High Shine Lip Gloss from Uma Beauty, and this is in shade. I think it said number two. Oh, I didn't open it. Typical me. It's beautiful pinkish. It has some shimmer in it. Let's go in and see how it goes on on top. Oh God. Yes, yes, yes. I love that. I'm going to clean the applicator before I put it back so we don't stain the gloss. I'm loving how this looks. Okay, guys, so... I, uh, I did forgot to go in with the Hard Candy Lip eye, Eyeliner, waterproof. Let's see if we can just apply a little bit, little bit of it on the edge. It's because I did plan to use it, but I forgot. I have plenty of makeup in front of me. Okay, so the cap is stuck. We'll take it out later. Okay, guys, so this is my makeup. I'm going to go and fix my hair. And this is how it looks. I really like every product that I got from Valerie right now. Uh, we'll see how it will stay on the lips, on the face. I really enjoyed every single product. I have a couple of products more that I haven't had a chance to try it out. Uh, but so far, so good. I'm really liking it. We'll see. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to go over to Valerie's channel. I will link it down below. So you can watch her unboxing on my box, but also where she tries out all of the product that she, or most of the product that she got from me. I did send her some, uh, a lot of products. She sent come to me also some products. So we can't use everything on the, uh, in one video. So if you want to see more of uh, the products that we got, how we use them and what do you, what we think about them, don't forget to subscribe to my and to her channel. Give us some love, give us your support. I hope you enjoyed everything. Let me know down below if you tried any of these products, what do you think about them? Do you have any tips, tricks? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye!